essentially a map of where the value is sitting, um, calculated in dollars. So the question is, you know, does this match my findings? So we've been doing some validation really recently about this. Predicted on farm abundance from that model, again, parameterized, blind to my field data, and then comparing it to my field data. And it's a pretty good fit on predicting where abundance of bees would be. That's this result. And also we can ask, okay, what's the predicted yield um, from the model, and what's the observed pollinator deficit that I showed you in that other graph? And again, as far as ecological systems go, um, I'm pretty pleased with how predictive it is. So we're doing some validation to see whether this model's um, doing what we think it should do. And of course, the next step is, and we have an NSF grant to do this now, is to extend this validation to those 25 places that I showed you a map of before. So that's what's happening now. A whole lot of this kind of stuff, and I couldn't squeeze a result out of our postdoc in time to put in this talk. So I have to go without that. Okay, so now that we have this model and maybe we believe it, and you can tell me whether you do, we can do some fun stuff, right? So I'll just tell you two of the things we're doing once we have a model like this. One is we can ask scenarios like questions, like what are the likely economic consequences of a land use change you can envision? And also ask more broadly, what are the marginal values on the landscape? What's, where would deforestation result in the largest losses, largest incremental loss in an ecosystem service? So I'll just show you quickly those two examples. So one is this scenarios thing. So here's this model running again. And I've done the same thing as before, just turned off those two patches that are in yellow. I'm not sure if you can tell the difference between green and yellow, but this and this are two patches that I've run the model with them in and then out again. And asked, okay, who's, been, who's hurt by that? So the shade of red um, corresponds to how much the income of that